Chapter 18 Destruction is certain for the land of Ethiopia, which lies at the headwaters of the Nile. Its winged sailboats glide along the river, and ambassadors are sent in fast boats down the Nile. Go home, swift messengers. Take a message to your land divided by rivers, to your tall, smooth-skinned people who are feared far and wide for their conquest and destruction. When I raise my battle flag on the mountain, let all the world take notice. When I blow the trumpet, listen, for the Lord has told me this. I will watch quietly from my dwelling place, as quietly as the heat rises on a summer day, or as the dew forms on an autumn morning during the harvest. Even before you begin your attack, while your plans are ripening like grapes, the Lord will cut you off as though with pruning shears. He will snip your spreading branches. Your mighty army will be left dead in the fields for the mountain birds and wild animals to eat. The vultures will tear at corpses all summer. The wild animals will gnaw at bones all winter. But the time will come when the Lord Almighty will receive gifts from this land divided by rivers, from this tall, smooth-skinned people who are feared far and wide for their conquests and destruction. They will bring the gifts to the Lord Almighty in Jerusalem, the place where His name dwells.